What's up, gang? I hope everybody is doing well. What's up, gang? What's up, gang? Mama Magical, love you guys so much. Thank you for continuing to support. You guys are showing out with the Mystic Love Oracle deck on the pre-sale tip. I'm so, so happy that you guys are excited about this deck that I made for all of you in mind. Um, they definitely pair well with the Mama Magical Oracle deck. So if you have the, my very first deck, you would definitely find this deck to be complimentary because that's what the intent was. So shout out to you, you guys for showing me love. And also shout out to my new members. I see my little views are going up. So I really appreciate that. Um, so if you are new here, please feel uh, welcome to comment, um, uh, comment, of course, subscribe. And um, drop me down your request in the comments so you can let me know who you would like for me to read next. Uh, to get to know me, to get to know me, I'm, excuse me. Oh, I got these. Y'all know Mama Magical been struggling with these little <laughs> visualizing in her mouth. But to get to know me, definitely go to my website at magicalflowerstarot.com. So let's jump into this reading, gang. So y'all asked me to do a Lala Anthony and Da Vinci reading because word around the curb is that they might be... Uh, you know, liking on each other a little bit. Now, I read a little bit to see, you know, just what they was talking about in the streets because y'all is the ones that put me up on everything. So, apparently, that Da Vinci has denied this. He is married. So, um, we just going to see what the spirits say. Don't mean you can't crush on people. You know, humans are humans. So, let's just stop talking and let spirits speak. So, I'm going to start off with the Mystic Love deck just to see what comes out. Lala Anthony, Lala Anthony, Lala Anthony. Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci. We just gonna let the fall, the cards fall like they may, how they may, and let's see what the chemistry is, y'all. What y'all think? Y'all, y'all think they secretly hooking up on the low? Ooh, water sign. So that flips. I don't know if either one of them is a water sign. So somebody let me know in the comments. So straight out the gate, we got a water sign: Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Okay, let's see y'all. Water and earth sign. So I'm not sure y'all. Y'all let me know. Sacrifice and compromise. Mm. Oh, we getting all kinds of signs in the mix. I want you back. Mm. Sneaky. Come through spirits. So y'all already know. So we have, first of all, these three signs is, um, hmm, it's pretty interesting to me. Earth, uh, water, and air sign. Hmm. So we talking about the energy of sacrifice and compromise, compromising. So if this man is married, he definitely gonna have to make some type of sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? To be in this relationship with Lala. It says, I want you back as if there was already some type of connection. And then we have the energy of sneaky child. Let's see. Oh, long-term commitments could have been there. It could have been happening for longer than what people think. Karmic energy, bad intentions, child. Mm. And then at the bottom of the deck, it says stay for now. Hmm. Interesting, right? Okay, so let's move over to the tarot. This is going to be a really quick reading just to see, you know, the energy between the two of them. <clears throat> So, uh, I just want to pull some tarot cards just to see if we can get some more detail on the energy between the two of them. Lala Anthony, Lala Anthony, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci. I kind of want to jump back into this deck, though, just to see how they feel about each other individually. But let's let the tarot speak for a second, and then we can jump back to that deck. Two of Cups, so they definitely have some type of connection, some type of chemistry. They definitely appreciate each other. Look, water and earth. <laughs> Queen of Cups, so there's definitely an emotion. Definitely, there is attraction there. There is an emotional connection there. There is a liking for one another. They definitely work together. Six of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles can talk about a long-term thing. Nine of Swords, mm, so this means somebody know that they probably was doing wrong. Nine of Swords talks about being really, really feel. It's full of shame, shame, guilt, um, kind of feeling real bad about a certain situation where you can't sleep. You did something that's keeping you up at night. King of Wands talks about the dick being out of control. 
I'm not going to lie. It talks about somebody that could be very promiscuous, who loves sex, very sexually charged, a fire sign, someone who is very attractive and handsome, um, can be a little sneaky in their ways, but out and out and loud and proud at the same time, if that makes sense. So it's a very sexual, impulsive energy, something that's kind of not controlled, not controlled at all. And then we have Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that is irresponsible in their movement. So we have woman and man here. Hmm. What y'all thinking, y'all? What is y'all thinking? Okay, let's see. Um, how y'all think that Car y'all think that Carme Carmelo Anthony is still feeling some type of way about Lala and her endeavors? Although I believe he's married too, he has moved on and he has a child. But let's just tap and see. Tap in and see. If he still be watching her son, what y'all think? Y'all think he does? Carmelo Anthony, Carmelo Anthony. Mm, some want to fall. Oh, two things want to fall. Ace of Pentacles. How does he feel? Is he jealous or any kind of way? Does he miss? Lala, man, let me find out that I want you backwards for her. Mm, it's not looking like it. He's still feeling some type of way about the relationship. Mm. This talks about Wheel of Fortune talks about mm, lucky type of energy, lucky feelings, things coming back around, things changing. But I feel like for the most part, he would never get back with her. I feel like it was really a tough um, divorce between the two of them. I don't know. Ace of Pentacles reverse usually talks about no way in hell. He definitely doesn't feel the type of work that she does. Um, she is very spicy on camera. That's what that wands energy is talking about. Three, of, uh, three is also the energy of communication. It's reversed. So I feel like, mm, I don't know. They may talk here and there because, of course, they have a child. But I'm just kind of seeing hell no with this, especially with this justice reverse and this devil with these two people. It's almost like it was a very toxic relationship between the two of them. So I feel like he don't think that it would be good for him. And besides, he is committed to someone um, how committed? I don't know. That's a different reading. If y'all want that type of reading, let me know. So show me more about their attraction. Lala Anderson. Lala Anthony. I was about to call her Lala Anderson. Lala Anthony. Lala Anthony. Lala Anthony. Wasn't there a rumor that she was supposedly messing around with um, Swiss Beats? Y'all want me to pull on that? I think I might pull a couple of cards on that at the end. Mm. So this talks about someone being married. Two of Swords talks about um, indecision. Mm, bad character in your marriage. The lovers reverse. Mm. Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. I feel like could be Lala. Queen of Wands, she's very spicy, she's attractive, she likes attention, um, it could be a fire sign, um, but Queen of Wands is basically that girl, period, <laughs> she gonna get her attention, she knows how to draw people in, in um, draw people towards her, she's very sexual, and things of that nature, but I feel like there is some very spicy feelings there between the two of them. Um, sexual and there is chemistry there but then i'm looking at on this end we got a married person the four of wands and then once again let's pay attention to the surrounding cards we have the two of swords we burst once like i said again talks about indecision being stuck don't know to go left or right mm, in a rock in a heart in between a rock and a hard place judgment reverse talks about not making good decisions having bad character um, not really assessing a situation and making wise choices. The lovers reverse talks about there is problems at home. There was breakup splits. Um, there's a severance between two people. You're not in harmony anymore. You're not seeing eye to eye. So it's like this is if you paying attention to the split. I tell y'all, I'll be trying to teach y'all. Pay attention to the middle cards. You see how it's two total opposite energies right here. Come on now, y'all. Come through spirit. Fighting, pettiness, disagreements, Queen of Pentacles no longer reliable, Two of Wands unplanned. So it looks like the attraction between the two of them was not a setup. Like he, it, it's just something that happened. If y'all feel what I'm saying. Hold on one second. Okay. Show us the energy between Da Vinci and his wife. And we're going to ask because he made it public, right? He commented on this um situation when he was asked so it's not like you know he played the fifth he 
he had no comment. He is entertaining the questions. Oh, is that a baby? Page of Cups? Show me the energy between Da Vinci and his wife. It is. So that could end up, that could and that can uh, speak about a child pregnancy. Um, it can also talk about childish um, love, something that won't last long. Don't talk about new love too sometimes. So we're going to see Ace of Wands, the world. Mm. I hope he ain't got nobody pregnant, child. So again, because somebody is very vulnerable in this relationship and we know that da vinci is in front of television he is the world's eye candy right now a lot of people is liking him on him right now and here is the energy of his family hmm i don't like that seven of swords now there is some type of sneakiness and deception we have that sneaky card that came out let's see and this is up through spirit this is definitely talking about his marriage y'all so what y'all think that was the marriage card, that four of wands. Okay, so let me pull for my mom magical oracle deck. Let's see what falls out this deck. And then I'm going to end it with the mystic love because I'm going to ask about that for this beast thing because I know they were saying that about um they would say even alicia made a song about that that's a whole nother reading though so i'm just gonna ask one question but what y'all think about that situation with that little so-called alleged love triangle y'all short come on now two of swords choices indecision set come on now sex <laughs> come through spirit you're gonna speak every time friends so hmm chemistry like i said two of cups indicated Friends, people that are attracted to each other, people that show attention, I mean, um, a chemistry with each other. They show attention to each other. Sex and friends and choices. Jail, that means doing something wrong. <laughs> Level up sex. He said, hey, happiness underneath friends. So it's like he really does have some type of appreciation for Miss Locke. Come on with this confirmation, y'all. And then we got responsibility at the end, at the bottom of the deck. So, before we conclude the reading, I'm going to jump back over to the Mystic Love. And then I'm going to see. I just want to ask something. What is Da Vinci? Show us a little bit more of Da Vinci's energy towards Lala. Just want to see what falls off. What comes out? attachments i said in that pentacles energy <laughs> it might have been a little bit longer than we think lesson there's a lesson to be learned then karmic energy come out and reflections reflections mm, that's interesting and this is at the bottom of the deck man this is him <laughs> come through spirit <sighs> y'all mm, 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 mm. okay let's see a little bit of lala's energy Lala Anderson. Why do I keep calling her Lala Anderson? Who is Anderson? Lala Anthony. Lala Anthony. Lala Anthony. My God, they gonna speak every time. Spirit is gonna stack every time. They go that water sign again. I want you, the one. At least for now, she likes him. She want him. Hmm. Okay, so before we conclude the reading, like I said, I was going to pull a couple of cards just to see that energy between Lala and Swiss Beats. What is that energy about? What's that true? Is there truth to that? So I can definitely do a reading on the situation if you guys want me to. It's over. <laughs> Come through spirit. It's over. This is a warning good attention so that is uh that's <laughs> hey it is what it is it seemed like alicia keys was ready to step it's over she ended it that was a good thing to do right is this what you truly want she didn't want to get caught up with that with no married man so again once again that was just a quick tap in on the energy what are you guys thinking feeling do you think it's something do you think it's not something and definitely let me know in the comments who in the hell we is going to do another reading all game. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, be blessed. I shame.